We're preparing to send humans to Mars, but we still can't get password security right. I'm Bridget Carey, and this is your CNET Update. Man is one step closer to setting foot on Mars. NASA completed its first test flight for Orion, a craft designed for the next era of exploration, taking humans to Mars in 15 to 20 years. Orion launched Friday at sunrise from Cape Canaveral in Florida, and then as planned, returned to Earth just four hours later, splashing down in the Pacific Ocean. The short flight tested onboard systems like heat shields and parachutes, and it also measured radiation exposure. It orbited Earth twice before heading back. No Earthlings were aboard the flight. The plan is that someday this craft can carry up to four astronauts. But there's much to explore before we head to Mars. For instance, there's a plan that by 2025, Orion will carry astronauts to an asteroid. No word if Bruce Willis is involved in the mission. By now, you may have heard about the massive cyber attack at Sony Pictures, where hackers not only disabled hard drives, but leaked movies and internal documents with company secrets, credit cards, salaries, and personal employee details, including 47,000 social security numbers. Some of those belong to celebrities and actors like Sylvester Stallone and Rebel Wilson. The malware seems to have been created in Korea. It's suspected that North Korea may be behind the attack as revenge for the movie The Inner Interview. It's a comedy about an assassination attempt on Kim Jong-un. The hack was brutal, and it would be hard for any company to defend against, but Sony can also be criticized for poor security habits. For example, hackers found a folder named Password that had company passwords in it. Yeah, you shouldn't do that. Moving on to mobile, Facebook is taking another fling at Slingshot. It's an app launched this summer that mimics Snapchat's photo sharing features. At first launch, Facebook's Slingshot was awkward to use. You couldn't see a photo unless you first replied back with a photo. It wasn't good for having any sort of conversation. Facebook dropped that requirement, but still the app isn't catching on, so it's adding yet another feature that's similar to Snapchat. Going beyond private messaging, you can also follow public posts from people you don't know. It's also taking some from Vine and Instagram by including looping videos. And to spread awareness, you can share to Facebook and Instagram and Twitter. Now, if you're someone who's addicted to mobile messaging, maybe you could use one of these new Tommy Hilfiger jackets with solar panels on the back. There's a battery pack in the front pocket with a double USB port, so you can charge two gadgets on the go. But solar power doesn't come cheap. The jackets are $600. That's your tech news update. There's always more at CNET.com, and be sure to follow me on Twitter. From our studios in New York, I'm Bridget Carey.